Robin Hood champion boxing and sports. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. Let me tell y'all something. Ryan Garcia, he has these fighters shook. I don't care what anybody says. When you look at guys like Teofimo Lopez and Teofimo, for him to come out and say, let me pull his information up while I'm talking to you. For him to say, he doesn't want to fight Ryan Garcia. He wants to fight, um, uh, hold on a second. He wants to fight Tank. Because Tank is the man who beat the man. Let me tell you, you know what that's called? That's called bullshit. And when somebody starts talking BS, you got to throw the BS flag. You know what I'm saying? So let's take a look at something here with old Tia Fimo. 20 wins, 13 KOs. He has one loss. Uh, 65% KO ratio, 5'8", uh, 68 and a half inch reach. Um, when you look at Tia Fimo's uh, record, he's getting ready to fight uh, Steve Claggett. He fought Jermaine Ortiz, Josh Taylor, Sandra Martin, Pedro Campo, George Cambosos Jr., Lomachenko, Kome, Nakatani, uh, Ma uh, Magdaleno, and, and Totley. So he, he's, he's fought against some guys with some pretty big names. But this is the thing. I, nobody wants to lose to Ryan Garcia. I'm telling you that right now. They can say, oh, he's a cheat. We don't want to give him an opportunity. Derek, uh, Devin Haney sure as hell don't want to rematch him. Talking about it, you know, maybe down the line, but right now, no, and he doesn't deserve it. And now you got Tia Fimo coming out here talking about, I want Tank more than Ryan. I want the guy that beat the guy. Me and Tank are explosive, but I'm really going to outclass him. They don't want to mess with Ryan Garcia. Because Ryan Garcia, no matter what you think about Ryan Garcia, he will put the bing bings on you. If Ryan Garcia touches you, you are in trouble. So Teo could come out here and say what he wants. I'm telling you, Ryan Garcia has them shook. Because even though there's all this talk about him and him on pets, they, any boxer knows speed kills. And if you hit hard, you have a puncher's chance. And if you have speed like Ryan and you hit hard like Ryan, you have a puncher who can kill you. And they don't want to deal with that. Right? And they know that. They can say what they want. They don't, they don't want to get embarrassed by Ryan. Because unfortunately for Ryan Garcia, he's still the kind of, he's still a cartoon character to a lot of people. He's still a cornball, green. You know what I'm saying? They, he's, they still don't want to give him the respect that he deserves as a fighter. And this whole thing with the Pez, I just think that's a way for these guys to alibi and hide behind that uh, in an effort to avoid fighting them. But the bottom line is this. Ryan Garcia can kind of pick and choose who he wants. Uh, Teo Fuma can say what he wants. If Ryan Garcia calls him out with the kind of money that comes with fighting Ryan Garcia, if Teo doesn't fight him, it's clear, he's clearly putting duck sauce on the fried rice. Now, it doesn't sound like Ryan Garcia is interested in fighting him at this, at this moment in time. But for Tio Fimo to come out there, it's like, to me, a, a, a preemptive strike. You know what I'm saying? Just to make sure if it comes his way, he's already shot it down and it, and everybody is a, can, can almost try to buy into his bullshit. But I see straight through it. No one wants to get hit, hit with that Ryan Garcia left hook. No one wants to end up like Devin Haney. And that's just a fact. They do not want to end up like Devin Haney. And um, what Devin Haney's going through right now, it's not even with the pet stuff. There's a lot of people that they don't want to hear anything about pets. They're just looking at what Ryan Garcia did to them. Um, I think Ryan Garcia, I've said it before, and some people out here, because they get emotional, I think if Ryan Garcia fought Earl Spence, I think he knocks out Earl Spence. I do. I think he knocks him out. I just think with that speed and power, I think Earl Spence will be in trouble. Um, I understand Earl is, is a big guy, but if they fought at 154, I just, I just have, I, I would go for Ryan Garcia. I would. I think he would beat him. Um, Ryan Garcia fought Terrence Crawford. I'm going for Terrence Crawford. If Ryan Garcia fought Tim Zhu. I'd probably go for Tim Zhu. Uh, if Ryan Garcia fought Virgil Ortiz, I'd go for Ryan Garcia. If Ryan Garcia fought Boots, I'd, I would go for Boots. If he bought, fought Brian Norman Jr., I, I, I haven't seen Brian. Brian Norman Jr. be Santion. So I may have to go with Brian Norman Jr., but, but, but then... The problem with a guy like Ryan Garcia is the speed and power, man. And with me being a guy who I had fast hands, I had good power, 
But when you see someone like Ryan Garcia, the De La Hoyas, you know, that 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 speed and that power, man, is is crazy. It doesn't matter what you think about the individual. Um, that's just something special. Zab Judah, you know, they just have something in their hands. And when they touch you, people react funny. Have them dancing sauce in the ring. Ain't no music playing. They just start, you know, suavemente, fucking all over the ring looking crazy. But anyway, Teofimo can say what he wants. But I do think with Tank Davis and his six, seven, six or seven fight deal that he signed with PBC, I think Tank is going to have Lomachenko. I think Shakir Stevenson. I think Ryan Garcia again. I think Teo. I think... Um, Maybe Baron check. Um, I think Tank is going to fight a lot of big names. Um, there's some people out there who are pessimistic. They don't believe Tank will ever fight big names like what we're talking about. But I, I think Tank Davis will. I do. I really think he will. Because after this, he got it's a guarantee. It's a guarantee the amount of money he's going to make. I, I do think after he makes his dough, he's out. So it is what it is. And for him to get paid the kind of money that he, that for the contract he signed... Uh, he's going to have to fight big names. He can't just fight Joe Blows. He can make decent money, but but the investors need to recoup their profit, their their investment and make a profit. So I, I would think he would, they would try to line up big names. And I think those guys should fight him because it's going to probably be the biggest payday. But anyway, y'all keep cool. Don't be fooled. Ryan Garcia has, has these guys out here shook. Where am I at? Let me see something. Because the internet running kind of slow over here, man. This hour tonight, shit gets crazy with the internet. I don't know why it does that. Maybe because it's everybody's on it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm trying to pull this up, but shit's frozen. But anyway, I'm going to finish my video. But when you look at everybody at 140, the Subaru Matias, Regis Prograde, let me tell you something. Regis Prograde definitely wants nothing to do with Ryan. But Ryan's up at 140. Tch. All them guys up there, man, except for Boots and Norman Jr. I think Ryan Garcia may get him to some serious problems. But anyway, he's got him shook. But we're going to see what happens tomorrow because Ryan Garcia, once we get the, we find out the results, they say it takes a couple weeks to get the results from his B sample. But, but so many people say things, but I'm going to go with what Victor Conti says. But um, whenever we get the information about Ryan Garcia's results, I think, I think, they may have Ryan Garcia shook up because that's going to be something that he, he's going to have to prove that he was, that his innocence or, you know, he's going to have to figure it out. But right now, those guys don't want to mess with Ryan Garcia. He's too much of a risk. And nobody wants to lose to the YouTube kid, the Twitter kid, the Instagram kid. Nobody wants to lose to the cartoon character. And that's what it is. And the, the reality is the cartoon character can scrap. And it is what it is. Y'all keep cool up in the breeze.